Okay, so you might have heard the news. Ulta is no longer having their 21 Days of Beauty. I was actually so sad when I heard that because I am such a fan of the 21 Days of Beauty sale. Even when they launch the information and you look at it and you're like, there's not like a ton of products I'm really excited about. There are usually still some of my absolute staples discounted for 50% off. So I do stock up on some of my favorite skincare products, my favorite makeup products, and I always buy at least like one or two things during the sale every single year. But they are switching it up. So they haven't done away with the sale as a whole completely. It seems like they're just changing the format a little bit, changing the name. So in today's video, I wanted to share my thoughts on it and share all of the details and let you know which products I recommend, which products I'm thinking about trying myself, and just kind of hear your thoughts and what you think about it too. So this is actually now called their spring semi-annual beauty event. So I assume they're having one in the fall as well. It starts on March 8th and goes through March 28th. So it does run for three weeks, just like the 21 Days of Beauty. And each day they are offering 50 percent off products, just like the 21 Days of Beauty as well. The difference is they are including hair care. They used to just focus on makeup and skincare. So it makes me wonder if they are doing away with the gorgeous hair event as well and just combining it all into one event, or maybe they'll be switching that one up. I'll definitely share more information once I hear about that, because that usually does follow the 21 Days of Beauty. And now I wonder if they're doing like the Spring Hall event, because that's one of my favorites too. So we'll see. It sounds like they're just kind of changing things up this year. So the format of this sale is a little bit different. And I'm not the biggest fan of this change. You'll have to let me know what you think. In the past, they would release the full calendar ahead of time so you could see all 21 days of sales and pretty much see everything that was going to be discounted. They would sometimes have like additional sales throw it, thrown in or a surprise deal, but for the most part, you could really plan out what you wanted to buy ahead of time, which I found really beneficial. This time around, they're doing the sale one week at a time. So every Wednesday, they're going to release all of the information for that week. And then the sale starts on Friday. So they do have it coming out just a little bit ahead of time so you can still plan for the following week, but you don't see everything that's going to be discounted. I'm sure they did that because their competitors, specifically Sephora, were matching a lot of their deals. And on top of that, I feel like if you are able to like sit down and plan out what you want to buy, you're probably not going to buy as much. There's not as much impulse shopping going on. So I feel like by doing it one week at a time, it really is like a win-win for Ulta because people will probably end up buying more and their competitors might not have access to all of the details for their sale. So I'm sure it benefits Ulta, the consumer not so much. I really like to know everything that's going to be discounted, but I do appreciate that they're at least releasing like the full week ahead of time so you don't have to wait for like the new sale every single day. One benefit for this sale is that they have a lot more products on sale. In the past, they would usually do like three or four products every day, occasionally like five or six, but there were definitely less products on sale as a whole. And this time around, there are at least like 10 products on sale both online and in stores each day. And then they also have a bunch of online only deals too. And like I said, they're including hair care as well. So there are quite a few more products to choose from in this sale compared to previous sales. And they also have some affordable and what I would consider to be drugstore brands discounted too, where in the past they would focus more so on high-end brands. So there are definitely some changes. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the sale. If you plan on shopping it or skipping it, if you really liked seeing the full calendar ahead of time, like me, or if you like the surprise factor. So in today's video, I wanted to share my thoughts on the first week of the sale. I mean, the sale as a whole and just kind of hear from you what you think about it, but we'll go through and I'll highlight all of the best deals, the products that I truly recommend trying, and maybe a few things that I'm thinking about trying myself. I don't know if I'll do a video for every single week of the sale. I saw like a sneak peek at the calendar and the second week didn't seem quite as good, but the third week was really good. Like I think there are a lot of makeup products on sale in the third week too. So I might come back and do one for the third week. But anyway, let's jump into it and we'll just kind of chat about the products. I'll put a link in the description box so you can see the full list because there are well over 100 deals for the first week alone. So I won't cover everything, but if you want to scroll through and check it out and see which products are discounted, I'll put that link below. The links in my description box below are affiliate links. So thank you so much if you decide to use them. It really supports me and my channel and I do appreciate it. But if not, you can just head over to Ulta's website or I think all of this information is up on the app as well. Okay, so the sale starts on Friday, March 8th. The first thing that I wanted to highlight is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. So the original one and the waterproof one are going to be 50% off, which brings them down to $13.50. I wouldn't say that this is my favorite Tarte mascara. Tarte actually has a lot of mascaras. I love the Lights Camera Lashes and then also the... 
what is it called? The Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Those are probably my two favorite. Those give more volume than this one does. If you like really lifted, separated, long lashes, I think you'll like the Man Eater, which I do think a lot of people go for. So 50% off does bring it down to more of a drugstore price point. I don't think there are a ton of high-end mascaras on sale during this sale. So this is definitely one of the main ones. I think there might be a few later on, but during this first week, I didn't see a lot of them. A few skincare products. So one of my favorite brands is Tula and one of their, I think, best-selling products is on sale. I hear so many people say they love this product. It's their 24-7 moisture hydrating day and night cream, and it's going to be on sale for $29. I think this is a good, like, everyday moisturizer that could work for a lot of people because it's not super light. Like, it is lightweight, but it's not like a gel moisturizer and it's also not super thick and intense. It kind of falls in the middle. So if you have normal skin or you're looking for something that does lightly hydrate the skin without leaving it feeling greasy, this is a good option. My favorite moisturizer from the brand is probably their vitamin C moisturizer. So I wish that was the one that was discounted, but I have tried this one and I've gone through it a couple of times throughout the years. So I do recommend it if you're looking for just like a good go-to daily option. I've also tried this cleanser from Peach and Lily. It's their Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It's normally $29 on sale for $14.50. This is a very lightweight, just very gentle cleanser. If you have sensitive skin or if your skin is very red, easily irritated, I think you'll really like this. If you have really oily skin and you find that a lot of cleansers are a little bit too heavy, this is a great option too. I would tend to use this more so, or I'd reach for this more so in the summertime. I used mine up fairly recently. I'm trying to think. It was in one of my last empties videos. Not the last one, maybe like the one before that. It's not my personal favorite cleanser during the winter because I do require something a little bit more hydrating, but I do think it is a nice option during the summer when I don't want something too intense. I have tried some products from IGK, but I haven't tried this line. There are a few products on sale from their Good Behavior Collection for 50% off. I believe this is like their frizz control line. So if that's what you typically go for in hair care products, it might be worth looking into these. And like I said, there are a lot of hair products discounted during this sale. So again, I wonder if they're doing away with their gorgeous hair event. Okay, moving on to the next day, Saturday, March 9th. They're offering 50% off the Fenty Match Sticks Skin Sticks. So I think they're kind of well known for the contour sticks, but they have other options. They have a glow stick. They have shimmer sticks. They also have a color-changing blush stick. I kind of remember when they launched that. I think they did like a full color changing collection, maybe a lip product as well. So if that is one of your go-to products or you've been curious to try it out, you can get them for $16. I've heard people really like the Billie Eilish perfume. This is the original one. I think she has like a second version as well and it's going to be 50% off. So it's normally $72 for the 3.4 ounce bottle and you can get it for $36. I've never tried this perfume. I don't typically buy full size perfumes because I just can't commit to like the same scent. But I looked up the description. This one has notes of sugared petals, creamy vanilla, and warm musks. I feel like to me that kind of strikes me as like a fall or winter fragrance or maybe like a date night fragrance. But again, I haven't smelled it myself, so I might have to stop in store and see what it smells like. If you need a new brush and you like the It Brushes for Ulta, there are 50% off It Brushes for Ulta happening all throughout the sale. Like very random days, but like every week there are at least two or three days where there are discounted brushes, but it's very specific brushes. So I think most days they're having like two or three different brushes on sale. So you kind of have to look through and see if your favorite is going to be discounted. But on Saturday, they're offering 50% off the Airbrush Tapered Powder Bronzer Brush, which actually looks really nice. It's going to be on sale for 18. The Blurring Concealer Brush is going to be on sale for 825. And then the Airbrush Essential Bronzer Brush is going to be on sale for 14. I have a few it brushes for Ulta. I think they're really great. Most of the ones I have, I think, are like foundation brushes or marketed that way. But that powder bronzer brush does look really nice. I just, I know that I really don't need any additional brushes right now. There are also some online only deals. I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. If you go to Ulta's website, they split each day into like the online deals and in store deals and then the online only deals separately, which is kind of nice to see in case you don't like to shop online, you prefer to shop in store, you can just narrow it down to the deals that are happening in store. So I won't go through all of those, but I just wanted to point that out as well. Okay, so moving on 
on to Sunday, March 10th. One of my favorite products is the Peach and Lily Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser. It's normally $35 on sale for $17.50. This is a really good option if you like cleansing oils because it is very gentle, very, very moisturizing. It's not the most effective at removing like really intense eye makeup. If you are using like a waterproof mascara or just like black eyeliner that's hard to take off, this doesn't always remove it for me and I have to go in with like my Garnier Waterproof Micellar Cleansing Water but I do love using this on my face because it just melts off all of my face makeup and leaves my skin feeling really nourished and not stripped at all. So I probably will grab that since it is 50% off. Again, some additional It Brushes for Ulta on sale. I have tried this one, the Blurring Foundation Brush. That's normally $26 on sale for $13. I really like that one. I think it blends the foundation in so well and gives you like a very smooth, seamless effect. Their Full Coverage Complexion Brush is on sale for $15. That could also be used as foundation brush. It is angled, so you could probably use it as like a bronzer or contour brush. And then their airbrush buffing foundation brush is normally 26. That one's on sale for 13 too. So that's a great option. Just depending on like the shape that you typically go for, you might reach for one over the other. But the first one I talked about is definitely my favorite out of all of them. Online only, you can get the It Cosmetics Superhero Eyeshadow Sticks for $12.50. These weren't my personal favorite. I don't want to say like skip over them, avoid them, because I do think there are people who would enjoy them. If you do like a very subtle application when it comes to eyeshadow sticks, like more of a sheer wash of color, these might be ideal for you. I That's the reason why I personally didn't love them, because when it comes to eyeshadow sticks, I usually like something with a little bit more pigment so I can use it as a liner or as a base or really layer it up. The It Cosmetics shades that I tried were definitely very, very subtle. I had to plug my computer in and I just lost my train of thought. I think I was going to say, I, okay, so for the full price point, the $25, I think that's just too much for what they are. $12.50 is definitely more reasonable, but there are drugstore options that are even less than that. Elf eyeshadow sticks I think are really good. Milani makes my absolute favorite, although I think those are more like $10 or $11, so the same price as the It Cosmetics ones when they're discounted. They're so smooth and creamy. Really, really beautiful on the eyes though. Okay, I've never tried this product, but I'm intrigued because it has really good reviews. It's the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff Dual Sided Powder Puff. It's normally 18 on sale for nine. I feel like this one is discounted because they want to move inventory, not because they're actually trying to put like a really good product on sale, but some people seem to like it. The pink side is for applying powder or baking, and then there's a tan side that they say is good to like re-blend your makeup throughout the day. Is it a necessity? Probably not, but for $9, I feel like I might try it out. I read a review from someone saying they really liked using this to like smooth out their under eye concealer throughout the day. So I don't know, I might pick it up and just try it out. It sounds interesting. It sounds nice to like throw in your bag on the go. There are a few Olaplex products on sale throughout the month. I've actually only used their shampoo and conditioner and I do like them. I haven't tried anything else from the brand, but the shampoo and conditioner are nice if you deal with breakage or damage. I I used that three barrel like crimper a lot during the holiday season and it it was bad for my hair. I think I used it a little bit too much. Maybe I had the heat turned up a little bit too high and it did break off quite a bit of my hair in the back. You can't really see it. It's like back here. Oh, it's so bad. It was actually worse. It's just like this one spot in the back of my head. So part of me was like, is it from wearing my hair in a bun? Because sometimes I wear my hair in a bun down here but I don't think so. I really am blaming it on that crimper. Anyway, that really sucks, but the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner are going to be great if you do deal with breakage or damage. So I have been using those probably since I want to say like December. On and off, I usually switch out my shampoos and conditioners and they're nice. So anyway, I can't just, I can't speak to all of their products, but I do like those. The number six bond smoother is on sale for $15. It's a leave-in styling treatment that reduces frizz and flyaways for up to 72 hours. It smooths as you blow dry and it perfects, defines, okay, there's a really long description on it, but basically it's supposed to leave your hair looking smooth and frizz free. So if that is one of your favorite products, it is discounted. I think I said earlier, they are offering some products that are going to be discounted the entire sale. And I think the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner are included in that. So I'll check that out at the end of this video. On Monday, March 11th, the Grande Brow is discounted for 50% off. If you like this product, I really wouldn't recommend buying it at the full price 
price point because usually this does go on sale for 50% off during, well, I was going to say the 21 Days of Beauty, but I feel like you can get this for 50% off fairly regularly and it's expensive. It's normally $73. It's going to be on sale for $36.50. This is a really good deal. It definitely works. My brows, they are still a little bit sparse, but they used to be way worse before I started using this product. And this is a little bit different than the Grande Lash. Like with the Grande Lash, you have to keep using it to maintain the results. If you stop using it, your lashes go back to normal. And I don't find that to be the case with the Grande Brow because I haven't used it in a while. Like it's been months and months. And before that, I wasn't even using it super regularly. I would use it like once a week. And I do feel like my brows have kind of maintained their results. There was not a drastic difference by any means, but my natural brows are definitely a little bit thicker and longer than they were before I used it. So I do like that product. I think it's a great product if you are thinking about trying it out. The Stila Sale Day Liquid Liner is 50% off. Again, a product that I don't recommend buying for the full price point because it usually is included in some sort of Ulta sale throughout the year for 50% off. It's normally 24, so you can get it for 12, and they do have seven different shades. I go back to this from time to time, especially when it is discounted. I do tend to prefer a brush liner, and honestly, I'm not wearing liquid liner a ton these days, so it's not something I'm planning on buying right now, but I know people swear by this. They love it. They repurchase it over and over, and they do have some nice colors to choose from. Okay, this is not my personal favorite product, but again, I know a ton of you love this. It is an online only deal. The Pure 4-in-1 Press Mineral Powder Foundation is on sale for $14.75. I've tried this a few different times throughout the years, and... I don't know, it's just not my personal favorite. I wouldn't say there's like one specific thing about it that I hate, that I'm like, oh, that's why it's bad. It's not a bad product. I just have more affordable alternatives that I love. I love the Essence Powder Foundation, the e.l.f. one. So that's why, you know, I, I didn't reach for this a ton. I would say it's a little bit drying, but again, so many people swear by it. So if it is your favorite, it's on sale. On Tuesday, March 12th, About Face eye products are 50% off. These are already fairly affordable. They range in price from like $13 to $16. So they're going to be on sale for like $6.50 up to $8. They have 11 different products on sale. I really like their matte fluid eye paints. Those are really nice if you do like a liquid shadow. They have beautiful shades to choose from. You can use them as eyeliner, like an all-over wash of color. I've had some people say they use like some of the brown tones as color. Contour. They do have eyeshadow sticks that are going to be on sale for $7. I haven't tried any of their eyeliners or their mascara. I might try their mascara while it's discounted. I did just pick up the About Face Foundation, which I haven't tried yet. I'm going to try it out on camera very soon, but I'm so excited to try it out because it sounds so nice. I'm thinking about trying the Kinship Bright Wave Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream. It's normally $38 on sale for $19. It sounds nice. So it's supposed to diminish the appearance of fine lines, target dark circles, and hydrate for a bright, wide awake look. I love trying different eye creams. I just finished the Osea one, which has been so nice during the winter because it is intensely hydrating. And I'm almost done with the It Cosmetics one, which is the one that I typically go back to. So I feel like now would be a good time to try it out. My favorite It Cosmetics eye cream is not on sale this time around, which normally I do grab it during the 21 Days of Beauty. Okay, on Wednesday, March 13th, the Smashbox primers are going to be $21, all of them. Like the original one, the primerizer, the mattifying one, the anti-redness one, they have a lot to choose from. I feel like they used to be so well known for their primers and I don't hear as much about them these days, but $21 is a good deal because their primers are pretty pricey. Select products from Ava NYC are going to be on sale for 50% off. This is an online only deal. I actually haven't tried a ton of these. I have tried the Main Magic 10-in-1 Split End Mender and that just gives your ends like a nice, smooth, even finish. So I do like that product. I also really like their Therapy Session Hair Mask. I... I don't know that it's like my absolute favorite hair mask ever because that, I mean, I know it's not because that goes to the Coco and Eve one, but I do think it is my favorite affordable hair mask. It's normally 19, but it comes with a ton. You get 16.9 fluid ounces and it will last you a while because you really don't need a lot of it. So it's on sale for 50% off. So I do like that product a lot. The KBD Beauty Good Apple Serum Foundation is on sale. It's normally 42, discounted to 21. So I've tried this product. I really wanted to love it. And I think there are people who will enjoy it, but you have to have like a very specific preference when it comes to your foundation. It is extremely matte. And that is coming from someone who used to love matte foundations, 
but there is like no shine at all, at least in my experience. I kind of wonder if you prep your skin with like a really glowy primer, if there would be a difference. I didn't try it that way. So if you've tried it that way, I would love to know. But I do find that it's extremely long wearing and it's actually super, super lightweight. Like I still remember when I loved the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It was so matte, but it was so heavy on the skin. And this KVD one is really lightweight. It has really intense coverage. So I think that was the reason why I didn't love it because the coverage was so full that it looked like I was wearing a mask. But I don't know, it could be a great option if you have oily skin and you love a lot of coverage you just have to find like the perfect shade because it is so full coverage if you choose a shade that's just like slightly off it's really really obvious a few more it brushes for ulta that are on sale this day the omg foundation brush is on sale for 13 this one actually looks really nice the soft focus blush brush is on sale for 13 and then the serum foundation brush is on sale for 12. Okay, the last day of the sale for the first week is Thursday, March 14th. The Too Faced Cloud Crush, Crowd, Cloud Crush Blushes are going to be $14.50. I actually really like these. I think I mentioned them in my end of the year favorites video. They have six different shades to choose from. They're really pretty. Normally, I don't reach for a powder matte blush these days, but that is a formula I do love because it gives your skin a super smooth effect. And the colors they have are really, really pretty. So I personally love those. And I think for 50% off, that's a great deal. Another one of my end of the year favorites, the Urban Decay 24 seven waterproof concealer. I think I actually talked about this in like an underrated favorites video because in the beginning when it first launched, it was getting a lot of hype. And then there were so many concealer launches in 2023 that I feel like this one kind of fell under the radar but it is a really good product. It's on sale for $16.50. I like this because it has a nice skin-like finish. Like it does look natural, but it also has good coverage. And I've said this before, but if I'm going to the gym, like sometimes I do wear makeup just depending on the day, if I'm going somewhere afterwards. And I, this is like the only product I'll wear to the gym if I am wearing makeup because it stays in place well, it's light, it blends out quick, and it looks good even afterwards. So I personally feel like it does stay in place really, really well, but it still has like that skin-like finish to it. Okay, I still haven't tried anything from REM Beauty. The Interstellar Highlighter Topper is going to be on sale for $12.50. They definitely have some unique, interesting shades. I feel like I've been hearing about them a little bit more lately, but I don't know. The brand as a whole just hasn't really caught my eye. Okay, so that is it. That's everything I wanted to share for like the day-by-day -day deals. But like I said earlier, there are some hair care duos that you can get throughout the entire sale. So if you are looking for a new shampoo and conditioner or you want to stock up on your favorites, they are offering some different pairs as low as like two for 25 and then some are like two for 35. So that's everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. Let me know if you want to see separate videos for each week because I can come back and share my recommendations for week two and week three once those deals are up. Like I said, I did see a sneak peek and in my opinion, I think week two is not as exciting, but week three does have some really good deals too. So maybe I'll just come back for week three, but thanks for being here. I would love to hear your thoughts on the sale. If you're excited about the fact that there are additional products and hair care included, let me know if there are any videos you wanna see on my channel during the month of March so I can add them to my list. I'm getting back to filming regularly, so I would love to film some videos that you wanna see. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye.